If you're looking for a behind-the-scenes insight into music, you've come to the right place. Remember to subscribe to be notified of new content. Many have said that music has healing properties. Well, in 2020, we have faced a one in 100 year event with the COVID-19 pandemic. And music is one element that has helped carry us through. But this pandemic has changed our life in so many ways, especially so for Australian singer-songwriters who were once accustomed to performing their music in a live setting. Join me as I unearth what goes on behind the scenes during these COVID times across the Australian music scene. This is Behind the music with LED. Hi, I'm Kelsey Bowman and I'm based on the Central Coast in New South Wales. I would describe my style of music as country pop or modern country, um, but definitely country with some pop influences. It was quite a journey for me to become an Australian singer-songwriter. I started off doing some musical theatre, doing some jazz. I tried a whole lot of different things and I got into songwriting when I was in a duo with one of my friends. We performed a lot, we wrote some songs together and after I finished high school, we kind of went our separate ways. I went solo and that was when I really got into the country scene and really worked on my songwriting, wrote with other artists and really put a lot of effort into my music. So my expectations for becoming an Australian singer-songwriter was probably a bit more glamorous um, and I guess a bit more money coming in from the music. Um, I currently really don't earn anything from music, which is totally fine. I don't do it for that, but I did definitely expect once you get some success, once you plan festivals, once you get some streams, you do get some money coming in, but it's quite not that way. <laughs> and um, you definitely have to put a lot more money in and invest a lot more money than I thought. So that's definitely the reality of being an Australian singer-songwriter in my case anyway. And a lot of it is about networking and about who you know, which I didn't really expect when I came into it. I thought you could kind of, you know, work really hard, which you can and you do have to, but you also need to network and kind of get to know the right people to really work your way up. Performing your music live is very important. And yeah, it's kind of hard for us to do that now, obviously, but it is so important to just meet people, get out in front of new audiences and also practice your craft. I find that I haven't played live in a while, so my craft is, you know, kind of not getting worse, but I definitely don't remember how to perform as well as I did previously because you're just not doing it regularly. So it's really important to perform live as much as you can. I definitely learned that I played at a lot of crap venues while I was, I still do sometimes, while I was kind of, you know, trying to get my name out there. So it's definitely important to play live as much as you can and go to as many different areas and venues as you can to get in front of new audiences and get new supporters. Marketing my brand online has actually been really important and a big part of how I've kind of grown my music. I love social media, I'm on it all the time, so I definitely use Instagram and Facebook to really build my supporters um, and the number of people that kind of knew about me, build my name, build my profile. It's been huge and it's also helped me, of course, with my music sales online, with Spotify and iTunes and Apple Music. Um, without having a social media presence, I don't think I could have been where I am now, played the gigs that I have. I definitely use it a lot to network and talk to other artists and definitely build my profile and build my name. So it's been huge, it's very important. And if you are wanting to be a musician, I definitely recommend getting on there and building up your social presence. It's hard to think about my biggest highlight of my career because I feel like I've had quite a few that I've been really proud of and really happy to be doing these things. Um, I definitely think that releasing music is always a highlight, especially kind of when you keep releasing and every release is more successful than the last. I definitely think a highlight is some of the support acts I've played. I've supported Travis Collins, Brad Cox, Kirsty Lee Akers, um, the Vibe Creek Band, Dirty Road, huge artists that I've always looked up to in the country music area and scene. So those definitely been some highlights. Of course, playing at festivals as well. I've played at festivals that, yeah, I, I went to as a little girl kind of wanting to go into the music scene and then playing on them is really surreal. Um, Toyota Star Maker was a huge highlight for me. Maybe the biggest, I don't know, it's hard to say which the biggest has been, but yeah, definitely the first time I ever went to Tamworth, I watched the Toyota Star Maker and 
I never really thought I could be in that grand final, so it was awesome to be able to do that and have some of my dreams come true. Community Radio has had a huge part in helping my career. They've always supported my releases. When I first was releasing music, I was going out there and contacting them all and asking if I could do interviews or if they could play my music, sending my songs. And yeah, it's really always been a huge part of my releases. And of course, when I go to festivals and um, interview with all the community radio stations there, it's so lovely to meet them all. They're always so supportive of music and of artists and they're always lovely <laughs> and willing to have a chat, which I love doing too. So yeah, definitely a huge part. And I'm so thankful for all those community radio stations for playing my music and interviewing me over the years. So I have said how big, um, I guess, online and online marketing has been in building my supporters and interacting with my supporters, but definitely I think connecting with them in person is much better. Um, not better, but I feel like you can have just that one-on-one -on -one personal connection so much easier in person than you can, you know, over Facebook or Instagram. It's been amazing to kind of just be one of my gigs. This happens a lot at Tamworth because I guess so many people um, come to the one area in Tamworth and someone just comes up to me and says they've been following me for ages, you know, they really love my music and there's just no better feeling than that in the world. Um, of course, it's awesome when they message you as well, but seeing them in person and kind of connecting them with them is just incredible and there's nothing better. My musical hopes for 2021 are <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to get to Nashville. I was supposed to be doing that this year. I still don't know if it'll happen this next year, but hopefully. Um, I hope to be playing live a lot. I've really, really missed that this year and it's been really hard. I'm recording a lot this year, so I might not be doing too much recording next year compared to this year, but playing live, touring is definitely something I want to do next year. It wasn't my plans for this year, but yeah, now all the plans have kind of been moved to next year. So definitely want to tour around Australia, go to some new areas and play play at some festivals, keeps doing some support at gigs, and yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> my words of encouragement would be to get started as soon as you can, play as many gigs as you can, even if you feel like crap afterwards because no one was listening. It's just really important to keep practicing, keep getting out there, say yes to a lot of things at the start. There is a point where you have to start saying no to things, but I said yes to pretty much everything at the start and it just meant I could play live a lot more, collaborate with people. I also really recommend just having kind of no shame in reaching out to people or saying hi to people in person. If you see someone you really admire, just go up to them. You never know what could come from that. But really just try and have fun. Try not to take it too seriously. Of course, work hard and put all you can into it, but rejection happens a lot. It's hard, but it's also really rewarding, so. Just not